Hi, our names are Adam, Aaron, and Amari. We will be showing you how to divide using the partial quotients method. We'll show you our syntax to prove our algorithm is correct. The problem we'll solve is 480 divided by 2. First of all, the division algorithm you see is drawn correctly. It does not look like a traditional division problem. You might think it looks like a hangman's pole, but that's what we call a mnemonic device. That's a device that can help you remember things by using silly phrases. Let's get back to work. We will put 480 as our dividend inside the algorithm and 2 as our divisor outside. Next, think. Are there any groups of 2 that can go into 480? Yes, there are. There are at least 100 groups of 2 because 2 times 100 equals 200. Let's take away 100 groups of 2 or 200 from 480. When you subtract, the difference is 280. Ask, are there any more groups of 2 and 280? Yes, there are. There's another group of 100, so next we will subtract 200 from 280, which equals 80. With our finishing hit, we have two more groups of 40, which equals 80, and bam, we're finished. Lastly, we have a remainder of none. Look at the groups on the right of the hangman's pole. <laughs> Or how many groups of 2 there are in 480. Add the groups together and we get an answer of 240. That means there are 240 groups of 2 in 480. Dividing by the partial quotients method is very efficient because you don't have to find how many total groups of 2 are in 480 all at once. You can find all the partial groups and add them together. I would argue partial quotients method is better than the traditional for this reason. For more math videos, go to Curiosity Films on YouTube. We value your comments. Don't forget to share or subscribe. See you next time.